Welcome to the world of Dry Gulch, where the sun sets in a blaze of gold, casting long shadows over the dusty streets. As Halloween approaches, the air is thick with anticipation. The old carnival, once abandoned, now stands resurrected, its vibrant lights flickering like fireflies in the twilight. This is a place where memories linger and shadows whisper secrets long forgotten. Join us as we step into this world, where the line between reality and the supernatural blurs. This is chapter one of our story, and the adventure is just beginning. Stay tuned as we delve into the mysteries of the carnival, where nothing is as it seems. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Sammy Carter stood at the edge of the carnival grounds. A slight boy with tousled brown hair and wide, expressive eyes, Sammy felt his heart pounding in his chest. The vibrant colors of the carnival lights flickered invitingly, yet a knot of unease twisted in his stomach. Sammy had always felt like a ghost in his own life, overshadowed by the achievements of his older siblings. The thought of stepping into the carnival felt like stepping into a world where he might finally be seen or swallowed whole. The air buzzed with an electric anticipation, and Sammy knew that this night would be unlike any other. Beside Sammy, Lila Martinez stood firm, her long dark hair pulled back in a ponytail. Her bright eyes scanned the carnival with a mix of excitement and caution. Lila was the glue that held their trio together, fiercely loyal and protective. Her fear of abandonment, stemming from her parents' divorce, drove her to be the steadfast friend Sammy needed. She nudged him gently, whispering encouragement. Ahead of them, Ethan Rivers, the town's resident troublemaker, strode confidently. His tall frame was silhouetted against the carnival's glowing entrance. With a scruffy appearance and a mischievous grin, Ethan exuded a bravado that often masked his own insecurities. Last one in is a rotten egg, he shouted, his voice echoing against the carnival's creaking rides. As the trio stepped through the entrance, they were enveloped by a cacophony of sounds. The laughter of children mingled with the distant screams of thrill-seekers, while haunting melodies of carnival music swirled around them like a ghostly waltz. The air was thick with the scent of popcorn and cotton candy, but beneath it lay an undercurrent of something darker, something that whispered of secrets long buried. The carnival was a kaleidoscope of colors, with rides that creaked and groaned, their paint peeling yet still vibrant. The ferris wheel loomed like a giant sentinel, casting long shadows over the ground. As Sammy gazed up at it, a shiver ran down his spine. It was beautiful, yes, but there was an unsettling quality to it, as if the carnival itself was alive, watching, waiting. 